So you want some automatic lower thirds for your live streams so that people know what other social medias you have, such as YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter. And they look just like this. You can get more than just those three. You can have unlimited amounts if you want to and have your own custom ones as well. You don't need any fancy editing programs such as DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro or After Effects. This is all done without editing software. Done for you, you just put in your social media and that's really it. This takes a couple steps. It's all 100% free. You can get it with the link down below in the description. Go check it out. And once you go ahead and add in your custom price or you can put zero if you want it for free, go ahead and click download. All right, so once you've downloaded the pack from the website, you'll see a zip file right here. Make sure to extract it and then you'll get this whole folder here. Now what you've got in this is your assets. You've got your settings and images, which is what we're gonna be messing with. You've got your left social media pop-up and right social media pop-up. I'll get to the those uh, towards the end and I'll show you how to use them. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and open the readme folder. It's got instructions here, but I'll show you how to do this regardless. So for example here, let's say that you stream on Twitch and let's say you have a Twitter account. Go ahead and click these. Let's also say you have a YouTube account. Once you've clicked those, you'll see them show up here. But what you can do as well is upload your own images. Now be sure to upload PNG files, which have a transparent background because when you add a solid color to that, it's gonna add it to the logo part and not to the transparent part. And I'll show you what that means a little later on here because that's gonna be important. If you're not concerned about what your background looks like and you want that background that you have in the uploaded image, do a JPEG, not a big deal, totally fine. So once we've uploaded our custom icons or chosen the ones from above, you can go ahead and add in your tag here with the text. Okay, once you've added in those texts, I've got Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, go ahead and download the image file here. It might prompt you and give you a warning warning of the image that you're downloading. Go ahead and allow it, it's just a PNG. Then what you're gonna do is go ahead and save it into the pop-up file and then into the settings and images folder. Go ahead and save it right there. And then we're gonna download the settings one as well. You might get a message that says, be careful what you download. Again, this is just a JavaScript file. It's just literally the text file that you put into the social media so that, you know, like mine is Murray Frost. Whatever your username is that you put in, that's what it's downloading here. Again, save it to the settings and image folder that you've downloaded. And we've got those two folders. Now, if I show this here, if I go into the settings and images, it's got those two folders here. Yeah. It's got the social media icons and it's got the data values, which is my username. Now, the next thing we're going to do to make this all work is go ahead and click the customize appearance and timings. This is essentially what the name suggests is changing the colors, the font, and uh, how long it's up on screen. Again, it's got the tutorial here in text if you don't wanna watch the video tutorial, but we've got the video tutorial. So I'm gonna make it pause for about three seconds. This is how long it shows up on screen and how long it displays that uh, social media lower third. And then the pause time in between is once it's run through all of those media lower thirds, it's gonna stop for a period of time and then run through them again. So for example, example, if you want it to run every 10 minutes, you're going to go ahead and put 600 seconds in here. Now, every 10 minutes, the social media will show up and it'll show all of them. And then it'll go ahead and turn them off for 10 minutes and then start it again. And these colors are pretty straightforward. You can select to change color and it'll do it in real time. It shows you what it all looks like. And if you want it to be a transparent color, go ahead and drag this bar all the way down. And you can see that there's nothing on the logo over here, which some people might want to do. I don't know, but I'm going to make sure the opacity is hundred percent and I'm going to choose white because I think the default is looking really nice. I like a simple minimalistic type of stream. And then we've got the text box color. So you can change that again to whatever you like. I'm going to leave it at its default. You can also add the hex code right over here. Assuming you know what color hex code you want, go ahead and just put it right in there. And then we've got the icon color here. Remember when I mentioned you upload PNG files with transparent backgrounds instead of JPEGs that don't have transparent backgrounds? This is where this comes in handy. So when I select the icon color, here, you can change what the color looks like. So if I make a white, you can see it changes that color. Or let's make it a blue, you can change that color. You can only do this when you upload a PNG file with a transparent background as your icon. Now remember that any of these settings that you change is going to apply to all of your social media. So for my example, I did Twitch, YouTube and Twitter. It's gonna change the color here, as you can see, to blue. I don't want blue. I'm gonna just stick with the default color, which is nice. So now all of my Twitch, YouTube and Twitter icons here will show up as this color. And then of course you can change the font color over here and 
you know, you guessed it. I'm gonna keep it the same because it's pretty nice. You can choose your font. So search whatever font you like, or you can open a font here. Changing the weight can differ. Just a good default is 400, but you can change how essentially thick the text is. The thicker is probably better since it's gonna be small on screen. At least that's what I would recommend, but you can stick to 400 as a default. Font size, again, that's pretty straightforward. And then you've got your text Y offset. So you can change how high it can show up on this lower third, because some Sometimes fonts might push it in some way and you can adjust and make those fine tunes here to make it fit properly. Now remember with this font size, it'll adjust the box as well, which is a really nice feature. It's all really intuitive. And then once I'm ready and happy with this, I'm gonna click download. Again, make sure you save it in your settings at image section, which is really helpful. This is where we want all of them to show up. Okay, and now in OBS, or if you use Streamlabs, go ahead and create a browser source. So right click and do add. Let's go ahead and do a browser and let's just call it browser two. Click on local file. And then also we can browse this local file. So let's go to the one we downloaded. And so in this folder here, you can choose to have the left or the right, or all this means is that the social media is gonna show up in the bottom right or the bottom left over here, depending on which one you choose. I'm gonna choose the bottom right, pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and open that. Let's choose the dimensions as 1000. Keep in mind that if the text in your lower third is long, it's a, maybe a long username, you might wanna increase this width by a bit more, but start with a thousand, it's a good start. Let's go ahead and click okay. And you can see it shows up right here, pretty straightforward. This is a little bit big, so I'm gonna just scale it down a little bit and let's put it right there. Now you can see that it shows up all of those lower thirds and then it goes and hides away for what I've set as 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, that's gonna show up again. So very straightforward, very easy tool to use. And there's a bunch of other free downloads on Autodye's website. So go check them out. They're really nice. I use a lot of their alerts as well. If this video helped or you found it entertaining, please leave a like, that'd be appreciated. Helps push the video in the algorithm. This is my full-time job, so it means a lot. Thank you. And one other thing for your live streams is I created a record label called Ampus Beats. You can use the music on all of your content, live streaming, video content, on any platform that you might have and listen to it from any music streaming app that you use. Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, YouTube Music, whatever it is. The new album, Slow Fi, just came out. It's some really nice chill music you've been listening to it this whole video. It's really nice and we've got a bunch more coming up. So use it in all of your content. And if you wanna download it, you can do so by visiting the website ampusbeats.com. And if you're new, subscribe and stick around for the future. I'll see you next time, but until then, make something great.